Hello and welcome to Flory Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Gecko Models' latest release. This is the 135th scale KT Ambulance. And again, like buses, ambulances apparently come all at once because obviously Airfix just released theirs. Gecko have got theirs out as well. There's a massive difference between both kits. And I've said before in other shows, I'm not going to do a side-by-side -side comparison build, look at them and all the rest of it. Because to be honest, this is a fully detailed interior one. Obviously the FX is just sort of, you know, an overall kit and all the rest of it. So I don't think it'd be fair. So anyway, what we've got down in here, as you can see, is the very well known Katie. Uh, exactly. This is in the limited boxing. Uh, this is 35th scale, as you can see. Uh, number for this one, 35GM0070, as you can see, right around on the box. So we get a little figure as well. Uh, and then obviously we've got the decals, got a large chunk of photo etch like you might expect. And then down on here, and then obviously the big thing is that this one has a full interior as well. So we've got a couple of options. You've got it obviously in the sand or the sort of drabby brown color. And then obviously we have got fully detailed interior. So that's what makes this kit stand out from the uh, the Epix one. So if I can get in the box, is it open? Get in here somehow. Ugh. It's a tight fitting box as always. Come on, there we go. So we've got a box within a box. So it's open. We are greeted by multiple sprues. So we've got lots of stuff down here. So this one looks like we've got a bag full with the actual Ren figure and a lot of, um, you know, Bergens and various equipment, helmets and such forth. So we've got wheels and various parts. We've got some clear parts. We've got the actual wheels themselves, the tires. We've got the main chassis. Uh, and the areas like that. We've got the lots of stretchers. So we've got four stretchers with all the padding and various bits you might imagine. We've got the side details and the roof, various things like that. And then obviously we've got more details down in there. So in here we are greeted by, we've got various things here. We've we'll got those off to one side. A thick, thick old manual book I will have to say so various details obviously about the KT ambulance obviously down in here we've also got the sprue layouts the usual things and then going through it really nice big clear uh, instructions down in here as well so we've got the chassis all going together we've got obviously the relief springs the various things being put on there as well and then obviously working our way around putting all of this lot together so plenty of detail so this is a fully detailed one down in here then obviously we've got the tires uh various all the running gear and everything else and wheels and hubs and everything being put together fully detailed engine as well so you're gonna have to put the engine all together going through on there and then obviously mounting it up to the actual chassis along with all the running gear exhaust systems things like that going in real nice colorful uh, diagrams showing you exactly how that is all going to go together then obviously we've got the fronts going on and we've got the steering system and all the things like that being fitted down into this one again really nice details we've even got the brake lines things like that all being shown as well and then again putting the actual tires and wheels on fuel tanks various items down in here just like that and then we're just going to start what our way running around. So we've got the rear parts being put on. We've got photo etch going onto all of these parts as well. We've got the front grille. Again, they're all photo etch. And then actually got the radiator in behind that as well. All being fixed in place as well with photo etch. Smaller parts putting onto this one. We've got various things like the front wheel arches being fitted into this one. The bumper. And then obviously we're working our way through it as well. So we've got the driver's seat being fitted onto this one. We've got the actual cab floor. The actual front uh, bulkhead. And obviously we've got pedals and all the other bits, steering columns, things like that, fitted all down in there. And then working our way around, bringing this together and then mounting this all up to the chassis. All right, so some really nice details right away throughout that. Then obviously we've got things like the bonnet. Again, it's going to be fully poseable as well, so you can have it open or closed. The sides come off to these as well, I do believe as well. So you've got full access down in there to show off that gorgeous engine. All the details on the outside, like you might imagine. And then obviously working our through, we've got some fuel cans and jerry cans, things like that as well that can go on. And then we've got the rear chassis floor being put in. And then obviously back onto this one, again, lots of photo etch. So you're making up photo etch containers for obviously for fuel, the water, uh, so forth and so on. The stretchers, obviously all of those being fitted and then fitting these down to the underside of the actual chassis itself before mounting all of that up. And then obviously rear 
uh, mud flaps, things like that. And obviously being photo etched parts holding a lot of this in place as well. So a ton of detail right the way through this. And again, nice that it's showing different angles. So you can see the angles that the actual mud flaps are going and how they hang and so forth and so on. Then we're building up obviously the back. So we've got the sides and the doors and the fronts going in there, all like that. We've got the spare wheel being fitted down into this one. And again, we've got more photo etch making up the actual sliders for the uh, the actual stretchers to slide in and lock in on as well. So we've got all of those being fitted down this one. Then we've actually got the stretchers roof as well. We've got like grab handles, things like that, you might imagine. And obviously we've got the roof vents being fitted down into this one. And then obviously the stretcher system going in for the next level up so forth and so on all the way through it's a couple of options this is option one uh, being fitted in or obviously you can have it with just two or you can fit it with three or you can fit it with four it's personal choice which way you want to actually do this one so again it's got them stowed down uh, on top of each other or up depending how you actually want it back onto the front and then adding all the equipment various parts onto this one and then obviously getting the cab roof fitted, the windscreen, the other bits, side doors, things like that, all fitted onto it, depending if you're having them on or off as well. And again, we've got wing mirrors being fitted down onto this one. The rear doors, I think most of this will probably have it open if you did want to close them. You've got all of those, and then you've still got a couple of uh, folded up stretchers as well if you wanted to have that one as well. So again, really nice one. We've got the auxiliary um, Territorial service, number one training center, more transport, uh, again, which was in March, April, 1945. So very nice indeed. Well, we've got this one as well, which is probably the most famous one of them all, which is old Ice Cold and Alex one from the film uh, for option two, which I think is probably the most famous one. Even we've gone that one because of our little lady who is inspired, shall we say, the Sander girl was Iceberg and Alex as well. So definitely one of those ones where we can all relate to that particular one. Okay, so what we've got is, we've got a sheet down in here showing with obviously the uh, the lady with the driver, with obviously all the equipment that is available, big bag of that as we saw, so that's very nice as well. And we've got down in here, the bag with the decals. That's very thin. Oh, and we've got a wire. Okay. So we start on here. Not sure we are the right way up. I think it's this way. There we go. You can see there's all your photo etch work. Lana bending and folding down in there. But it is all ready for you just like that. So that's very nice indeed. We also get a little bit of wire as well. So that's quite nice. I'm going to put that wire in there before it gets lost. We've also got the decals. Depending on which way round you're going to go. There we are. Really nicely done, good solid printing. No problem with those at all. So we'll just keep those nice and safe. Whilst you're on the close-up bits, I think what we do with some of the smaller stuff. All right, so just down in here, we've got the clear parts. So again, clear parts, uber, uber clear. And they've actually done this side door, which is obviously soft. Uh, really nice texture on that. That's really, really nice. So you've got that sort of clear polythene look. So you can have it rolled up, or as you say, if you can have the doors closed, if you can call them that, that's there as well. We've got the windscreen, the various parts as well. So you could have the windscreen open or closed. All right, we've got the tires. We've got multiple tires down in here. But again, really nicely done. No center seam or anything else like that. So that's quite nice. They'll work. So you've got five of those because you've got your spare as well in behind the driver right okay we've got multiple bags because we've got stretchers so we've actually got four stretchers we said about before and again beautiful textures on these really very very nice as well so again you've got it folded or open depending on which way you want to go around with that one so nice touch with those if not you've got plenty for your spares box okay uh, yeah, and then we've got this is that stowage equipment we saw with the nurse so we've got multiple bags of this. So we've got one down in there, a little bit of flash all over this, but to be honest, it's easy to clean up with those ones. We've also got another one with helmets and more pouches and various items. All right, so that's that one there. And then obviously we've got the figure with the right way up. There we go, with the hat. And very nice indeed, so that's cool. So we've got all of those just down in there. Okay, that's the last of the zip bags with all the little stuff. So, where do we start? Again, crinkly bags, but open already. Again, so starting down in here. 
how do you start? Looking lovely. Okay, so we've got the dash, those front fenders, really nice texture to these. Good, sharp, crisp molding on all of these. We've got the bonnet. We don't have any ejector pins on the inside. We don't have any ejector pin problems on the mud flaps either. That's really nice detail right the way through. Nice locating tabs, things like that, generally. Really very, very nicely detailed, as you can see, as you do tend to get with Gecko. Do some really very, very nice bits indeed. Get this out of the way. And then we've got this one down in here. It's got the chassis on it. It's got the engine parts. So we've got the engine down on there. We've got all the chassis. We've got those release springs, various things as well. Very nice indeed. Looking very good. Cool. Okay, so down in here, we have, right up there. we've got match pair down in here for the wheels and the various things. So what you've actually got, some very nice details down in there on those hubs, which are actually the sides of the, the tires as well. And as you can see, you've got all the writing on those as well. Very, very nice indeed. So, say so we've got match pair of those. And we've got these are obviously the jerry cans. This is the fuel one and the water ones. And down in there, like that. And again, we've got a match pair of those, which is another nice touch. And then we've got a little bit just down in here. So, this is the hump for the spare, I do believe, as that sort of sits to the outside. The spare wheel goes up against it. Very, very nice. Again, it's a gift that keeps giving. You certainly get your fair amount of stuff in here. So, lots of stuff. Okay, so down in here, you can see we've got the, uh, this is between the cab and the actual back. All the textures all looking very, very nice indeed. Got the floor, some nice textures in there as well. Okay, and even on the blind side, some very, very nice details. Finally done. Gecko stuff tends to be really nice, good solid kits as well. And then we've got this one. Some of the nice stuff just down in here like that. So we've got the driver's seat, the various parts. Very nice. And then we've got a match pair here again. We've got these. So again, various bits. Beautifully done. Very, very nice indeed. So we've got those. And then last up, we've actually got the main body body. So again, we've got the chassis floor, we've got the roof and all the parts. Again, very nice. Got a nice little texture on here as well. For the sort of cab roof as well as the floor and the actual main roof as well. It's got different textures to the rest of it. And then again, floor, very nicely done on the inside. Obviously, you've got your holes in here for putting in if you wanted to have the uh, air vents on there or not. And the various parts. And again, no ejector pins down on the inside for the roof. And the ejector pins aren't anywhere you're going to see. So that's another really nice touch with this kit. And then again, just down on here, we've got those side panels again with the nice texture. And all the different parts. Very nice indeed. And again, on the inside, because you won't see the ejector pins are all down, hidden out of the way. We've got that bar that goes across. So no problem with ejector pins in awkward places either. There we have it. That is a beautiful, beautiful kit. I know for a fact Matt wants this one. This is actually his kit and he's <laughs> gonna go back up to him because he's got an idea for a little diorama for this one. And I don't blame him, it's beautiful. I love the way it's got the full interior. This is one of those particular vehicles. You really want the interior. If you can have the back doors open to see what's going in in the back of it, no longer is it just a truck, it's an ambulance. You can see it. And the different configurations you can have in the back as well. That's a very nice touch with it. And again, with all the various things, full engine detail, the chassis detail. Yeah, if you're a vehicle or an armor guy, you're going to love this particular kit. And again, I can imagine, let's face it, over the next few months, we'll be seeing a lot of the uh, old ice cold Nalex uh, literally being uh, all over the place with this particular one. But honestly, I don't blame you at all. It's a great looking kit. So anyway, that is Gecko Models 135th scale KT Ambulance. <laughs>